Okay, good evening everyone. I'm doing question 14 from Web Assign. So the question is as the following. Okay, so we have a straight wire and also a square loop whereby the straight wire carries current I1 and the square loop carries current I2. Okay, that is the question. I'm sorry, that is the diagram. The question is... What is F net on the square loop, F net on wire 2 by wire 1? Okay, by the B of wire 1. By B of wire 1. Okay, so what is the F net on wire 2 exerted by the magnetic field of this guy? That is the question. Okay. So before we tackle this question, let's do a little recap on what does a straight wire do? How does it produce B? What is B? What is the direction? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So straight wire. Okay, nothing fancy. I. Okay, how do I determine the direction of B when I have a straight wire carrying current I? Okay, if you still remember, we need to use our right hand rule. Okay, so let's do right hand rule for this guy. So your thumb points towards I, your fingers point the, towards the direction of B. Okay, so here, if my eye is like that, like that, my B is going into the page and out of the page because it goes around the wire. So if I were to draw my B, it would look like this. But if I want to be fancy, I want to make it very uh, specific, I should say, okay, it's going into the page at this point, and it's going out of the page at this point. Now, does my B only act at this point? No. Actually, my B is everywhere. It's, uh, it's along this wire, extends beyond this video. You might not even see it, but it, it, it's... It's, uh, you know, it's a magnetic field. So you can't see it, but it's everywhere. So if I were to draw it everywhere, let's just try it. Let's just try it for fun. Okay, I'm just going to draw it. So this is everywhere. It goes beyond the video. And I hope you get my point because if not, this will be such a waste. All right. So it's everywhere, it extends here, it's also at every point of the wire. Okay? So now, that is your direction of B. It goes into at this point, and it goes out at the other side. So at every point here, it's going into, at every point here, it's go out. So into, out. Okay, so if I were to, you know, I don't like these lines. I just want these things. I can do that as well. Okay, I can do that. So if I don't want to draw the, you know, the circles, I can just say going into, going into at this side. Yeah, because B is everywhere. So blah, blah, blah. Okay, you get the idea. This is everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, why? Because this is my source. The magnetic field is going anti-clockwise. At every point, it is going into the page. From At this side, on the right side, it's going into the page. And at this side, it goes out of the page. Okay. So, this is what my wire does. Okay. What is my equation for this guy? Is my B going to be the same at this point versus this point? Is B equal to B, B? Let's find out. So using the equation for this straight wire, which is mu naught, I, I is the current flowing in the wire, 2 pi and the value d what is d 
D is the distance from the wire towards the point that you're interested in. In my case, I am very interested at point A and very interested in point B. So point A is just like one meter away. And this guy is like nine meters away. That's pretty far. So BA, so BA should be mu naught. What is my I? Let's just say I is two amperes. So mu naught is two amperes, two pi. My D is the point that I'm very interested in to the wire, which is one. And BB is BB, so 10 over 2 pi what's my d the point that i'm very interested in to the wire because i'm interested in point b so the distance between them is 10 okay not 9 it's 10 okay so from here the larger my denominator the smaller my b right so this guy bb is actually smaller than ba so the further away my point is from the wire, the smaller my B is. So BB is small. Okay, so the baby cries. Because it's a BB, get it? Okay, so that's B. So the further away you are from the wire, the smaller magnitude is your B. This equation gives you the magnitude, not the direction. The direction is given by your fingers, your right hand rule. Okay, so that's your B for your straight wire.